Um, the next game, oh, also one of my favorites, um, Anders. <laughs> Yeah, and and I have to say, Osmos, this one is also difficult. Uh, now I'm just oh, I, yeah. I, I I left the <clears throat> on the description because uh, I just love what the uh, Eric and Pellin is uh, is writing. It's you, just you and your powerful companion brick against ten against ten of the most difficult puzzles you will ever face. So, Rasmus, <laughs> if I can complete this, then I'm smarter than you, right? Oh, oh God. <laughs> I'm usually the one that makes fun of you uh, for no apparent <laughs> reason because clearly you are smarter than me anyway. So, uh, free. <laughs> yeah. So, so, so this one is um, is is also really special. Uh, you will see that in also the aesthetics that um, mm -hmm. they are targeting. Um, uh, yeah. When I when I start playing, and I just love the how you are introduced to this game. That you have this. Uh, sorry, my mouse is a little bit acting up. There we go. Um, having these tutorial text on the walls is it's great to get some um, some feedback of what you want to do. Um, so you have this really nice play with music as well. So I will keep my mouth shut so you can hear it. Yeah, so it's 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 really fun that you can see that is this uh, world of color you you enter if you um, get close to this interesting looking brick, mm. which you can then pick up, and it's a little bit the uh, you know portal wipes that you have this uh, companion mm -hmm. not cube but companion brick that you have yeah. to uh, take with you for for the for all the levels. Then you can use it to to get on the pier and pull the lever. Yeah, I agree with uh, Cosmic Arts and Chats. I really love the camera work. And yeah. I think that's a, I, we mentioned it earlier, but camera can really make or break your enjoyment of a game. I remember many, many a PS1 games where beautiful games, like, but I could not continue playing them because of poor camera yeah. <laughs> placement. Yeah, and, and so my mouse sensitivity is a little bit out of the, out of whack. So uh, <laughs> it's definitely not the games that is making these 1080 turns sometimes. <laughs> Um, I think we really, uh, it was like, like the mechanics are also awesome. Like it, it, it focuses on this little level that has like one puzzle and then you finish it and then you get to the next level. It's just amazing. And then the, so, so, so the puzzle mechanics themselves were really something we, we looked at. And then also the, the art combined with the sound, it was just, it's just really amazing. I think it's really the sort of minimalist direction there is just like amazing. I think we spent a long time talking about that. Yeah, this game is to me one of those games that, um, you know, there's an aspect of game de development that we don't think a lot about, which is a uh, narrative design. So mm. all the tiny little elements that make an emotional response to the gamer make you feel and uh, motivate you to continue playing. Like this person really understood that, um, which is why I think it's such a, it, re it was really just simple and very evocative for everyone. It, like everyone got an emotional response from playing this game, I think. Yeah. I mean, maybe we should uh, should should we talk about uh, should we talk about the elephant in the room for the two of us? Yes, us a little yes, bit? yes. Um, um, so uh, <laughs> there's something know about you know. that minifigure. Yes, yes. We are from Lego, so we think there is something about that minifigure. But I will say that did not impact. Um, it's a little bit hard to see what you're doing there. Oh, that's a minifig. Yeah, I'm just showing a minifigure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But uh, so crazy uh, pelican. We actually, I actually commented in uh, on the ideas page about the minifig, how it's not exactly the right proportions and stuff. And so he or she was saying that there was some technical issues. So, so this is a minifig that was modeled from the ground up, I think, here to basically fix those issues. But it doesn't follow the exact sort of um, Lego scaling and stuff like that. So we were a little bit like, what, what, what's this? So usually when we make published games or you know licensed games and stuff, we care a lot about you know the scaling and everything is correct and stuff. And we actually have a few games in this competition that are awesome games that. That uh, you know have some weird scalings of some of the bricks, or in this case the, the minifig. But but we are okay with that for the for the competition. It hasn't impacted any any of those games. If we ever were to you know you know continue doing some work with some of those games, then we would probably want to fix. But it's, it hasn't impacted. We decided this should not impact the the competition because the mm -hmm. games are awesome games, and uh, and a lot of clearly this game is is a labor of love, and clearly this person 
loves the Lego brand, right? There is no, uh, there's definitely no disrespect. Yeah, you can all, see that so. in all the the narrative stuff as well, quoting our, you know, only the best is good enough and those kind of. Uh, yeah, yeah. So that's totally agree. Yeah. yeah, I would love love some of these games. I think we I would I would love to like chat with the creators to find out how they did some of the things, like some of the mechanics they did. Somebody asked in the chat, like, what shader did they use to get this very unique color that's so far from what you usually associate with Lego. Lego is also very, you know, there's very specific color palettes and things like that. So it's just like when you see those colors, even without Lego pieces associated to it, you associate it to the brand. So for me, this is such a far departure, really beautiful artistic license being taken here with the Lego kind of brand. So yeah. If you're in chat, let us know. We would love to know. <laughs> it's like people in chat are just saying, this game is awesome. This game, They think, think all the games are awesome, but so do we. I mean, this is <laughs> this is also the best games uh, that we think are the best games. And we did have three judges from Unity and three judges from, from LEGO, besides the whole team that helped sort through all the games, right? So we've actually have had, I don't know how many people in total have played these games, you think, Carol? Maybe 15 uh, or something like yeah, that? Yeah, 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 yeah. At we, least. We can all sense. agree, yeah. And it's very hard. I cannot stress enough how hard it was <laughs> to pick even yeah. the top 50 yeah. games. The, the list just kept getting bigger and bigger. And I'm like, we have to find a way to appreciate all these creators because they're amazing. <laughs> so, so this particular puzzle, I really like that you have to use, uh, I, again, the play with color and the music, right, that you... Go in and, and see if you can find the, the right uh, two by two in the correct color to place. <laughs> I love the sound. Yeah, it's so good. Yeah, this is another game that um, because of the sound design, you feel it. You know, I think it's something that we talked about previously, Rasmus and Anders, about why the Lego micro game feels so satisfying to play. because you guys had the sound down pat. And there was like actually a lot of work that went into uh, recreating that satisfaction of using Lego in real life, the clicking and, and those little sound things. And I think this game achieves that too, where there's just a satisfaction. You can feel the sounds in some ways. Yeah, uh, yeah you can see the... the the content is, um, in a way, the content is more expensive than Photon Debugger because Photon Debugger, I got to level two, and he's now at level 10 in this game. <laughs> it's funny to compare <laughs> them, right? Like puzzle games, but very different in terms of how they, well, they use their content. Oh, yeah, I know what you're going to say. Oh, my God. Based on the description, these were the most <laughs> difficult puzzles ever. <laughs> oh, I see. So you're saying you are 10 times or at least five times smarter than me. That's what you're saying. <laughs> kind of. Kind okay. of. <laughs> Sorry, you're officially deemed a noob in chat by Muzz A. Double. Oh, double oh yeah, 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 yeah. He's he's one of my <laughs> colleagues. Yes. He, he, uh, yeah, of course. Called out. <laughs> oh God, of course he would say that. I'll get you for this, Murray. I'll get you for this. Okay. Um, but yeah, thank you so much, Crazy Pelican, for this beautiful game. Yeah. I loved playing it. Um, you know, I think when we first started this, again.